Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to warp to a new system. Let's get right to it. So we're going back into the galaxy map here, and we might as well go ahead and just go to the next system along the line as we work our way towards the center of the Euclid galaxy. Um, all right, so let's see. Free look. So I guess the next system is going to be this Ragil. That is also a Gex system. And, um, yeah, let's just go check that out and see what's there. Okay, set waypoint. And, uh, galactic core. All right, how do we actually warp? Oh, right there. Okay, here we go. Our first warp to a new solar system. So, what, what my short-term goal is here is to find a decently nice planet to set up our initial base on um and you know we'll continue of course following the main storyline as we go along okay we are in the ragil system there's four planets and two moons this is Gor uh, gek and it's an untroubled system so probably not a whole lot of pirate activity Starship monitoring system reports. Error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching, searching, searching. Obtained. Destination in 16, 16, 16, 16, 1, 6, 16 KLS. Accept new guidance? Sure, why not? Guidance accepted. Plotting route. Okay, so I don't even know exactly what that is. All I know is we need to go that direction. Um, so let's see here. It wants us to go oh, to the space station or to the planet. Yeah, to the planet. Okay. Um, let's, let's just stop into this space station for a second since we're right here. Um, I don't know if we... I have to actually go inside of it to quote unquote discover it or not. So let's just do that so that way we're covered regardless. We just have to figure out where the opening of the thing is. No, it's over here. Yeah, we gotta look for this little um, hexagon icon thing in here. Let's run up here for just a second. We'll see what's in this room in the back here. Not a whole lot of much of anything, okay? All right, since we're here, let's go ahead and talk to these guys and learn some more Gek words. Let's learn a travel symbol. The Gek word for visit. Nice. All right. You are the mission, dude. Lifeform gestures apologetically. Their exact meaning is unclear, but it's apparent there's no work. Okay, so we need more rep before we can do anything with missions. Envoy. I've uh, I have seen this aliens insignia before. They are members. Uh, they are a member of the Explorers Guild. They do not seem interested in, in the data I have to offer. Perhaps the mission listings agent on the station might have a way to prove my work. Okay. So mission listings, uh, listings agent. This is the star chart guy. We've already spent all of our star chart uh, money. Uh, if we click on the teleporter, okay, we can teleport back to our base on the other planet from here um, if need be. Okay, let's keep talking to Gex and learning words.
Let's learn a technology symbol. Uh, wait, did we, did we learn something? I don't know. Let's try this one. Maybe we already talked to that guy, I don't know. Dialect help. Friendship symbol. Okay, we learned the word need. Let's try this one. Mystery symbol. The geck word for two. Right, let's try broker sumer. Dialect help. Uh, how about a travel symbol? The word for discovered. Okay. Uh, I don't think we've talked to this guy yet. Hard to tell who we've talked to and who we haven't. Oh, okay. So if it's already grayed out, then that means we've learned it. Let's practice some language skills. Okay, free geck to Tyser nods encouraging listening. Pirates despair discovered sales geck. Let's try discovered. He looks quizzical to indicate they are a trader, not an explorer. Okay, well, I had no idea. Um, okay, let's try these guys. Oh, we've already checked him out. Let's try language skills. Okay, is delighted by the interspecies transaction. I recall the first geck word that comes to mind. The first geck word. I don't know what the first geck word was. Um, interspecies transaction. Uh, transaction. So probably helps, maybe, or found. Let's try found. Looks. Nope. He doesn't like that. Okay. Let's try this one. Request dialect help. Uh, how about an aggression symbol? Stupid! <laughs> okay. Um, have we talked to this guy? It's so hard for me to remember who we've talked to. Okay, we have not talked to this one. And, you, and I shouldn't be saying guy, because maybe this is a gal. Uh, let's go with a friendship symbol. Demand. That's a friendship symbol? Okay. Whatever, man. Here we got a Viking. Mm, let's try trade symbol. Viking word for give. Okay, now we have some effigies. So, offer one Viking effigy. He accepts the gift with gratitude, and we got we got reputation. Okay, good. Well, let's try this geck. Friend, you have worked for me. Yes, I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across the twelve. Oh, isn't this the guy, the farming dude? Yeah. Okay, but we need we we can't do anything until we get our base first. Okay. All right. Well, let's um, let's keep moving then. We'll go over to this side now. We have a journey milestone. We've met twenty aliens. Look at us in our bad twenty alien self. All right. Can we get a? Go away. Can we get another suit thing from this? Yes, we can. Nice. So, oh no, we got to pay for it now. Oh, that's right. And each time we do this, it costs. It exponentially costs more and more. But yeah, this is definitely worth five thousand um, credits. Okay. Now let's talk to this guy. Purchase upgrade modules. Okay, we got a life support module. Increases life support power. Underwater protection. Thermal protection. Shield module. A supremely powerful upgrade for the Exosuit defensive systems. Use. Begin upgrade so the module flexible. Exosuit shield strength and core health. That would be good to get. And it's a super class also. Um, Alright, let's keep that in mind. This is... Uh, oh, the Exocraft guy. Okay. 
Yeah, we don't. No, we're not ready for Exocraft yet. We will be, but we're just not yet. That's not something we want to get until we have an actual base on a home planet. Installable starship upgrades. Okay, purchase upgrade modules. Okay, so let's see. Infra knife module. Let's from the for the infra knife accelerator. We don't have an infra knife accelerator. Okay, so let's just hold off on the rest of that stuff then. Uh, you are the multi tool. Oh, you know what I f f uh, forgot to do at the last space station? I forgot to look at the multi tool that they have for sale on the station. This will prob would probably give us uh, even more money when we scan stuff, I'm thinking. Uh, let's look here, though. Kiss of Perfection. This is a Class B, and it's 3.1 million. Way more damage than what we have, a little bit better scanner range, and lots more slots. Okay. We should go back to the other station and look at the multi-tool there. I completely forgot that we could, that, that, that a multi-tool was there. Uh, let's go look in here. Oh, there's more dudes to talk to. Is there stuff in here to loot? Oh, we need an atlas pass for that. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Okay, so this is another person we can hire, I think. Okay, the overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. Yeah, so we have to have the construction terminal, which we actually do. We just need to set it down, and then we can hire this guy, and he'll allow, allow us to build more stuff. So we'll remember he's there. Get this encryption data. All right, let's talk to Trader Ruck, Rukingsa or something like that. There's a deep gurgle and the gek emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes her empty hands. Thank, oh, uh, okay. It smells delightful. They wipe their empty hands and beam at me with pleasure. I'm gonna say catalyst. Trader nods a curt thank you. They declined to eat my gift and scent washes away. Okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Another you know, Viking here. I demand a place on your throne world interloper. Uh, I think this is another one. Ex Exocraft terminal. Yeah, he's a, he'd be an Exocraft technician, but uh, again, we don't have one of those yet. So. Okay. Well, it's good to know that they're there. Here's a galactic terminal. Uh, do we have anything we want to sell? Not really. Okay. This is the black market guy. Large ships suffer strange fates. Their cargo is very valuable. The gecko waits my decision. Ask what they are selling. Purchase old scrap. Oh yeah, that's right. We need the tainted metal to get this stuff. Okay. All right. Well, here. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go back over here. I want to run back to the original space station in our original system and just see what kind of multi-tool was there because I completely forgot to check that. Incidentally, if any of you guys have left me comments about stuff, about anything, I'm pre-recording all of these episodes for um, because I'm going to be on a trip for a long time. Um, and so do leave your comments. I will definitely read them and respond to them, but just be aware that um, I haven't up to this point seen any comments, and I probably won't for several more episodes into this. Okay, that being said, let's go back to here. We're going to teleport back to our base, 
and we should be able to get back to this station uh, later on. Um, you parked the ship inside my base, yo. What in the world? Okay, can we get to the teleporter? <laughs> what in the heck? All right, here. Come back. Come out here. Well, if we can just get activate this, then we can go up to the space station, and this is a problem. But it's not letting me get into the teleporter. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right. Let's launch this. Get it out of the way. Okay, so we want to go to here. Space stations. Oh. Maybe we can't get back to that other system without warping again. That kind of sucks, but whatever. It's only one system over, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so... Um, where is the weapons dealer guy? He must be on the other side. Okay, let's see what he's got here. It's a C-Class. Alright, well, let's compare it. It's got two more slots, quite a bit more damage, a little bit more scanner range. Um, we can almost afford to buy it. No, we can't afford to buy it if we exchange our current. Um, I mean, it's got a lot more damage. I don't remember, do we get these back? If we trade in, I don't think we do, but I think if we took, like, if we took this, this and this off, it reduces the trade-in value, which makes sense. This does have a bolt caster, though, too. Okay. Uh, I don't want to lose this this analysis visor upgrade this is not a big deal because we can we can easily redo that okay so this is currently 254,000 units or 254,000 units right so if we were to go here and uninstall this And put it in our uh, exosuit. And we might as well take this off too. Store technology. All right, now what's the trade in value? It's still the same. Okay. I mean, I think this is probably worth it. Two more slots, but more importantly, significantly more damage with a bolt caster attached. I think we're going to do it. Okay. So we now have a new multi-tool. And if we go to here, we can frequency prediction unit packing. Wait, what? Terrain manipulator package. That's what we just took off, right? It looks different. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay. Um, so what we want to do then is we want to put this here. And let's move this to here so we get the bonus. Um, let's take the visor and move it down here. And we'll put the two projectile weapon thingy-me-doodles over there. All right, let's go to the exosuit. Install. And we'll just put this, uh, that can go out there. Oh, we lose all the fuel in it, though. That kind of sucks. Okay. Yeah, I think that was probably worth doing. Oh, we got a thousand nanites. Nice. 
It costs us another warp fuel thing, though. But, you know, whatever. Not a big deal. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take off. And now we will continue our journey on the main quest line. Uh, so let's go into the galaxy map here. And we want to go to this Ragil system. So enter free look, Ragil system, select warp. And here we go. Okay, we are back to the Ragil system. Four planets, two moons. Let's go ahead and scan the planets first. Okay, that's a Hyperborean plan, which means basically it's cold as that all get out. Um, this is a. We got This is the planet we actually have to go to. Imminent core detonation. My guess is that planet is probably a nuclear planet. Let's see if we can spot another one. Uh, here we go. What's this? That's a boiling planet. All right, probably hot. What What gave that away, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go to our mission destination planet first, and then uh, we'll see what our options are here. So we need to go this way. Yeah, here we go. Um, I'm actually, can I, da -da 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 -da, general options. Temperature. I wanna see if I can reduce the sensitive sensitivity of the mouse. It's a little squirrely. See that there. Graphics option, control options. Mouse smoothing look sensitivity. Flight sensitivity. Let's um let's set that to 20. Yeah, uh, we'll try that. We'll see if that's just a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Oh, we don't have fuel on our wait, what? We got fuel in there. Why can't we? Why can't we launch? We got plenty of fuel in the pulse engine. It's not letting me. Pulse engine unavailable. Oh, because we're near the space station. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I was like, going, what in the world's going on here, man? What is going on? Now we figured it out. This has copper, pyrite, and sodium. Here we go. Eminent core detonation. Yeah, that would seem to indicate nuclear radiation, etc., etc. Fuel source. Okay, approximate location. Oh, I think this is going to be a, a hot planet because it's got volcanoes. Follow Starship automatic guidance. Wait. Okay, hold on. Let's hop out here. Burning mist is the weather. Okay. Let's do a little bit of scanning. Yeah, this is definitely a hot planet. It's 136 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty doggone hot. Um, all right, let's not dilly dally. Let's just follow the the thing here. Oh, nice, a micropower sensor. Okay, let's see what's in here. Microprocessor. Starship launch fuel. Okay, we'll take that. 
Okay, so we're still going in the basic general direction. Fourteen thousand for scanning that dude. Uh, wants us to go this way. Yeah. Ouch! That kind of hurt. Uh, we definitely have more jetpack um, duration too, uh, because you know of that upgrade that we put on. Okay, let's see. I want this to go this way. Oh, is that where we're going right there? Yeah, see, we can go quite a bit further. Yeah, I think this is where we're supposed to be. Okay, so uh, we have to find the main place that we interact with this. Is it inside of here? Oh, nice. We can reset our temperature in here, but I don't think this is where we interact with this thing. Uh, let's do some life support. I'm going to... No, wait. Hold on a sec. Quick split. C. Okay. Technology it took both of them anyways. What the heck, man? Okay, whatever. Um, here we go. The heart of the anom uh, anomaly. This structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? Um, well, we're a traveler. I don't know if I'm your friend or not. It feels strange responding to questions I am unsure that I'm being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply, and I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I, I'm the first. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Yes. Both. Yep. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety per, uh, parameters breach detected. Alert. The boundaries fall, the walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. Okay. Um, oh, we got a warp cell. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's check a look at these knowledge stones. Gek word for friend. Didn't we already learn the gek word for friend? I don't know. Gek word for is. Okay. Gek word for four. Okay, let's recharge our biohazard. We'll work our way back to our ship and we'll scan stuff along the way to get some some dineros. Okay. We'll scan that. Unidentified something or other. That gives sodium. That gives ferrite dust. Did we scan you, buddy? Nope. Oh no, it's the flying things. They're a little bit far away for us to reach. These things are trippy looking, man. Ferrite dust and sodium. What is that? Oh! It's something we don't want to be next to. Good lord. No, not that. Did we, uh oh, did we just damage our thing? No, we're good. Okay. Whew. All right. So yeah, color for fire. Don't get next to bad juju. Yeah, I take it by the dead trees that this planet 
was once a thriving ecosystem and now it's hosed because the core is about ready to blow up. I mean, let me scan this thing. Ferrite dust. All right, let's get some dihydrogen. Carbon and oxygen in this guy. Okay, where's our ship? Our ship is that way. Loot this. Projectile ammo. Uh, we have a, a projectile weapon now, too. Have we scanned you? Yes, we have. Let's see, that's the frost planet. We haven't scanned this planet. Terraforming catastrophe. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. Uh, I also want to see what this moon is, so let's warp to this moon. Or pulse drive, I should say, to this moon. Terraforming catastrophe. Does that mean it's like really hard to terraform the place? I don't know. Looks like the two moons in the system are both around this planet. Okay, so it looks like the quest is basically turning this loose to do some exploring, uh, some galactic exploring. All right, let's stop this. Uh, I want to see what this moon is. It's a swamp moon, okay. And what about this one? This is an erupting moon. None of that sounds very friendly. Uh, did we scan this pl this planet here? Yeah, that's the boiling planet. That's at the core, and that's the hyperborean planet. Okay, so uh, let's go to discoveries and. Oops, sorry. Rag ale. Four planets, two moons. So I think we have... I guess they still say unknown until we actually land on them, even though we've scanned them. So I think we've scanned everything, and everything in here in this system sucks. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to move on to another system then. I don't see any reason uh, for us to stay here, except for that now we got somebody that wants to mix it up with us. Alright, let's mix it up. Hopefully, um, hopefully we don't have, like, a crap ton of them. Oh man, we missed our, our rockets. Okay. Alright, he's dead. Dude. Okay, we might have got more Gek um, standing, and did we get anything else? I guess that's it. Okay, our shields need some TLC here. So let's recharge that with one of these. We are ranked two with the GEC, nice. All right, let's take a look at the uh, starship. Uh, this thing is damaged. 
All right, well, we don't really have uh, the means to do anything about that right now, so uh, let's just move on. So the next system in line is going to be is Zaskis. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Oh, crap. Okay, we're going to have to get some hyperdrive fuel. Um, let's go to here. And we don't have enough oxygen to make... Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to make. Yeah, we need chromatic metal and oxygen. All right, we're going to have to land on one of these planets then. They're all, they all pretty much suck, so uh, let's go to this terraforming uh, catastrophe planet, because I'm curious what that actually means. Here, I had to actually take a phone call real quick. Uh, so let's head on down to this terraforming catastrophe, whatever that actually means. This seems like a pretty bare planet. I don't see a whole lot of stuff on it. Uh, what's it supposed to have in the way of minerals pyrite copper oh wait is that that's not where we are though i guess we have to get out of the ship to quote unquote discover the place or something right restore points saved okay this is cause a 75 j1 there is a sentry there. Let's get a little ways away from him and then line up some of this stuff. Hey, it wasn't me. Personal space, man. It wasn't me. Yeah, this is a very barren place. What are these things here? Whispering egg. What's that? Rusted metal deposit. Okay. Um, maybe this wasn't the best place to come to. There's just not anything here. Except for these whispering egg things. Isn't, uh, don't we get attacked by some creature if we loot this thing? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to switch to our bolt caster. Um, and we need, we need to actually get the ammo out of our ship. Okay, at least there isn't any environmental hazards here. Okay, let's see what happens when we mess with this. Do we have to mine it? I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, he... They're angry. Oh, shit. Just like keep coming or what? Let's get in the ship. Did they hurt the ship? Did we get anything for looting that? Let's put this in the in the hyperdrive. Technology recharge. I don't see that we got anything. Aren't we supposed to get some kind of really valuable item from that? 
Not enough fuel on the launch thruster. Okay. Um, let's see. We want to make a launch thruster fuel, and we need to make a metal plating for that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Launch this with you. There we go. Okay, um... Thought we were supposed to get something when we looted those eggs. But nothing showed up in our inventory, so I'm not really sure what the deal is. It's really hard to shoot from this ship because it doesn't hold still. What? If, I wonder if that would be easier if we were in this view. All right, where's those enemies at? There's one. I don't know, uh, but there's not there's nothing in our inventory from looting that egg thing, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Ooh, oh, 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 okay. So there's something there. It just came out of there. Where'd it go? Life support offline. Uh oh. Life support's offline. That's not good. What happened to that thingy? Uh, let's go. Exosuit, life support. Technology recharge. We cracked that egg and it dropped um, some kind of orb thing, but I don't see it. That gets rid of them. Does does it like? Does it like um only appear for a short period of time and then disappear? Can't remember what those things are called. Like, uh, yeah, I don't remember what they're called. Apparently, they disappear after if you don't pick them up right away. Either that, or I'm just not seeing it. I don't know. Okay, there's another one of the egg things there. So let's blow this thing open, grab the thingamadoodle that's in it, and then run like heck. Excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me, coming through. There we go, we got it. Whatever it is, we got it. Oh, isn't this one of those Gravitino thingamadoodles? Oh, sorry. Oh, here we go. It's a larval core. It's worth 69,875 units. A pulsating jellied orb. This gooey sphere is warm to the touch. Its, its stench triggers a primal fear in mortal beings. A deep-seated nine that begs you to drop it and flee. How interesting. Okay. Um, all right, let's get out of here. This planet sucks. Uh, what did we even come down here for? <laughs> oh, for launch fuel, right. Okay, there's just not a whole lot here. Other than those egg things. Let's just fly around a little bit before we go back up into space and head somewhere else. Yeah, there's just not a lot here, man. This place is pretty barren. 
don't know why they called it a terraforming nightmare, though. There's meteorites landing. What about caves? There's a bunch of sodium and a little bit of... Yeah, see, there's another one of those eggs. We can blast them open with this, but then all the bugs come out on it, right? Wait, are there bugs? I don't see any bugs. Maybe there aren't any bugs. Oh yeah, there's bugs. And it looks like the thingy is gone too, because I don't see it here. Is this a cave or is it just a trench in the ground? Ready? Didn't I just recharge that? Technology recharge. Let's open this thing. Okay, well, we need to get out of here. This place sucks. Let's go. We don't like this place. We'll go to one of these other planets. Um, we just need to get the stuff to make more warp fuel. Scan this one. Incoming message, frequency source unknown. Okay, let's check this incoming message. Incoming transmission, source unknown. You are not Gazit alone. Yeah, you've told us that before. Please identify yourself. I'm Gazit. Identify yourself. You left me, Gazit. Why did you Gazit? Tell them you are sorry. Tell them you know. Yeah, we don't understand. I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd kazit. Just like the others. Kazit. Ask about the others. Who's the others? Who are we? Yeah, who are we speaking to? There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Okay. That was weird. Oh, we got some new coordinates here. Stranger's coordinates. All right, well, let's go there. Hopefully we can get the resources we need on this planet to refuel our warp fuel. Is this that burn uh, core imminent core destruction planet again? I think it might be. Jerk ash. It's a warm fog is the weather. Oh, no environmental hazards here, though. Okay, beautiful. We'll take it. Um, all right, let's do some... Uh, well, I guess we need to find the place first. So it's going to be this direction. All right, at least we don't have to worry about hazard protection. Um, can I make another one of these? We need a dihy jelly. Okay. Let's move this over to the starship. Let's move this over to the starship. We'll move this over to the starship and this over to the starship. We want to keep the ammo with us. And uh, we'll move that over too. Okay, let's go figure out what's going on. At least we don't have to worry about environmental hazards here. We'll do some scanning after we get back. Oh, that's a, just kind of like popped right on in. Okay, let's check our scanner. It wants us to go this way. Look at you. Okay, he 
Apparently he's not hostile because he didn't come after us. Wayfair travel 20 KS. I don't know what the KS means, but we've traveled it. Okay, here, we need to, um... Oh, there we go. Finalizing signal. We got it. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's a ship. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to check the thingy first. We need five chromatic metal and five sodium. And guess, guess who left their thingy back on their ship? You know what we're going to do, though? Uh, that should stay marked. Let's go back and get our ship and just bring our full ship over here. Uh, back this way. And we might as well scan along the way, too. Get a little bit of Daenerys. Space Daenerys. A knowledge stone, very technology, popper, very cash. Okay. Well, this is the friendliest planet we've visited so far. Not what I would call a paradise, but at least, you know, we can walk around without getting, uh, having to worry about environmental hazards. So that's that's good. Well, hello. Well, I guess we already scanned you. There we go. something way over there, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, look at that guy. Are you friendly? He looks like he could be a predator. Um, is this a cave or just a trench? Can we scan that? All right, we got another milestone. What do we get? Enterprising. We've earned 508,000 credits. Nice. Uh, that appears to just be a trench in the ground. Okay, let's fly over to that spot. We need to make some more launch fuel. Uh, we need some dihydrogen. All right, let's get some dihydrogen real quick. There's some over there. Um, let's see. We need you. Good enough. Launch fuel. Let's go. Have we scanned you? Uh, yeah, but there's something beyond him that we haven't scanned. There's a lying critter there. Um, all right, so here, let's get inside of here. Got some nanites. We'll take them. It's carbon, that, and that. 
Nice, we got more projectile ammunition. We'll take that too. Okay, let's get uh, this thing fixed. So let's see, we need some. Uh, we need some chromatic. Oh, we have it now because our starship is nearby. Okay, this is a, a, a distress beacon. Zigit? Zigit? There are no signs of life. There's only the static of a broken communicator. Extract records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Oh, oh, there we go. I knew we were going to get this. Fantastic. I'm glad we didn't buy this. Um, very good. Okay, so we now have the blueprint uh, for the mining laser. We just need to get the stuff to, to make it, which will, you know, next time we go to a space station, we will get that. Okay, fantastic. All right, now let's check and see. Did we scan you? Yeah. What kind of ship do we got here? The Falcon of Freedom. It's an A-class ship. Wow. Okay. Um, the thrusters work. We will have to repair the pulse drive and pretty much everything. Oh, and it's, it comes with an M, a 26% shield strength thingy. I think we just found ourselves a ship upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we can do a comparison, but obviously an A-class ship is going to be better than a C-class ship. It's not a fighter ship, though, so that's something to think about. But it's got way better shields, better hyperdrive range. Not as maneuverable, because I think this is more of a freighter type of ship. So, here's the thing. Um, I am not 100% positive if, if we don't take our modules out of here and we switch to a different ship or a different multi-tool or whatever, do we lose those? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little science experiment. Okay. Uh, so we're going to save the game. All right. And then what we're going to do is... I'm going to switch to that ship, and I'm going to see if the stuff that's in here comes over or not. If it doesn't, we're going to reload. Oh, it says add ship to collection. Does that mean we don't lose the other one? Well, let's find out. Okay, so what does that mean here, then? primary start oh so we still own this ship too we didn't have to give it up for this one interesting okay how do we get so this is also now our ship all right how do we get the ship the second ship back you know to like base or port or maybe we have to have a freighter first before we can do that. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, well, let's see here. Oh my gosh. We're like massively going over time here. <laughs> I've been having so much fun. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up. Let's go back into the ship for just a second before I let you go. Okay, I'm going to gather up what I need to fix this. That's already in good shape. Uh, we need to fix the hyperdrive, which we probably can't do until we can get to a station to buy some microprocessors. I'll get the deflector shield fixed, the photon cannons fixed. And then, uh, as far as the rest of this stuff goes, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do with it, but I guess we'll work on getting it fixed, too. And, um... Once I get this at least functional on a very basic level, then uh, we will start the next episode. And we also want to get this advanced mining laser going as soon as possible, too. We, you know, I'm even going to potentially consider <coughs> setting up an actual base on this planet. Because this is the first planet we've come to that doesn't have environmental hazards. And it seems to have a pretty decent amount of flora and fauna. 
Um, did we look to see what kind of minerals are on this planet? So we are uh, here. We got silver, paraffinium, and copper. Okay. So, yeah, I'll think about that. I'm not 100% positive on if I'm going to actually set up a, an actual base here. But uh, I'll work on that stuff, and I'll bring you guys back uh, in the next episode, and we will continue from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. Catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.